Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video. I get really excited anytime I get to do a jewelry haul slash try on for you all. So recently my friends at Ofer sent me a bunch of Halloween themed jewelry, did a video on that and if you haven't seen it yet definitely go check it out. A lot of fun jewelry over there. But then Ofer hit me up again and they were like hey we have a bunch of new pieces that aren't Halloween themed but we'd really like to send you so that you could show your audience these new pieces. What do you think? Absolutely I'm always on board for that. So today I'm going to be showing you what Ofer sent me. Hopefully we'll be able to try on everything today. We'll see how angry <laughs> my Pearsons get with me. They sent over a bunch of different things that can be either for your helixes or even there's a few in here that would be great for your septum. We're gonna try some things on today. I'm really excited about it. Most things are hoops with a few that are barbells. A lot of danglies too, which back when I first got Pearsons, I was very big into the danglies. Haven't really worn that type of jewelry a whole lot recently, but these are some cute ones. There's one in here that has like a moon on it. Oh my gosh, I am excited for that. There's even one piece in here that I think would look good in my Filtrum, which I'm excited for, and it's gold, which again, Ofer tends to send me things that are outside of my comfort zone and then I end up loving it. So we're here for that. But what I'll do is like normal, I'll go through, show you each piece, and then I'll show you a little bit of a try on. So Ofer sent me over quite a bit. I'll try and categorize things and go through those so I can show you exactly what I will be trying on today. So the first thing is this gold 16 gauge titanium labrette stud. It has like an opal in the center and then little clear crystals around it. This is the one that I think will be really cool in my Filtrum. Again, I'm gonna do my best to show you all close-ups of these pieces. However, my camera doesn't always like to focus on really tiny things. I'm actually gonna take my rings off for this so it tries not to focus on my rings so much and we'll focus on the jewelry. But I really like this piece and I don't know if Ofer sent this as intended to go in my Filtrum, but I think this would look really good in it, which is why I'm gonna try it in that. But it's also outside of my comfort zone because it is gold. First of all, I am a huge fan of opals. So the fact that this has an opal in the dead center, I like automatically just want to put it right here. So I definitely think I'm going to try it for here. Next is this super cute cluster that I think will look really good either in just a regular helix or I'm leaning toward trying this one in my flat Pearson over on this side. I think it might work pretty well there. I just love this little cluster. It looks like a little arch almost, but it's just clear crystals, which is usually what I gravitate towards for my ear Pearsons. And I just love how all of this looks together. Very sparkly. I should also add that all of these are in 16 gauge. Ofer does know that that's what my gauge size is for my ear piercings as well as my septum and my filtrum. This next piece is actually a set of three and they are some labrette studs, but they are a set of three, which the gems come in different sizes. You have like a really small one, a medium sized one, and then a larger one. This is a really cute set and a very just like timeless set that if you don't want anything over the top, you don't want the dangles, you don't want anything super fancy, you have this little set, which I absolutely love. I like to put stuff like this in my double helix, which again is a double, not necessarily a triple, but it could also work in connection with my flat if I didn't go with that other one that I was looking at. You could do two in the double helix and then one over on the flat. And again, nothing over the top about these pieces, but it's really cool that it is a set and you get three pieces in one. Ofer sent me another barbell that I think will look cute in pretty much any of my Helix Pearsons, but it has a crescent moon on the end of the barbell that has like a little tiny star with some little clear stones in it and then a dangly piece that is also in the shape of a star coming off of it. And I absolutely love how this one looks. Again, crescent moon with the stars, so cute. Not something that I would typically gravitate towards because I don't usually go for the dangles, but this one is just so adorable.
This next piece is really fun. It is a segment ring, but it comes with like three little rings attached to it. And one is gold, one is silver, and one is rose gold. I like the mixed metals. The segment ring itself is silver. I will say the diameter on this one is pretty small, so I'm not sure which one I would wear this in. It could potentially be a helix piercing. Definitely think it's a little too tight for my septum, but it's super cute and I like the design of three hoops in one. The next three are all little danglies. They're all segment rings, but they all have little dangles on the end of them. They're very tiny, so it's kind of hard if I'm just holding it like this, it's gonna be really hard for you to see. But they all have like little clear stones around the side, and then they have this dangle in different shapes. So you have one that is in just like a very tiny rectangular shape. You have another that is in a heart shape. And then the third one that I'm obsessed with is in a star shape. And then these last three pieces I'm gonna show you are definitely the ones that I'm considering putting in my septum because I think they'd look really cute. This first one is a little less over the top in its design. However, I do like that it is pointed at the base of it. But I like for this one how it is pointed and it just has some clear gems along it. Again, that is definitely the theme that I stick with. I don't gravitate toward other colored gems or anything like that. Stick with the clear, the diamond look. And I like how this one has that little pointed look to it and they're clear gems. I think it's really cute, pretty easy to open. Sometimes segment rings can be a little difficult, which is why I always keep my hair pins with me. I always keep these little things because once I learned that trick, if you take two of them and then pull them apart, it's a whole lot easier than trying to do it with your fingers. But this one didn't require me to use that it was pretty easy to just pop open. This next one is a little bit more intricate. It kind of reminds me of that one helix piece that I showed you all that I think about putting in my flat. It kind of has a similar design to it, but it is a little bit more detailed than that last piece. It does also open pretty easily like that other one, thank goodness. Because again, segment rings can sometimes be a pill. And again, it's kind of hard to show these pieces because they are so tiny and delicate looking, but I do like this one because it flares out a little bit more, which is why I like it so much. I feel like that one's just gonna look really cute in the septum. Could also work for a date. Doth. And then this third one, also easy to open because I just tried it, is really pretty. Like this one is definitely of the three a little bit more detailed and intricate. It only has one stone. It has a clear stone right in the center. And then it has like pretty like almost infinity sign on either side that flares out from it. So those are the new pieces that Ofer sent over to me so that I could show you all. Again, huge thank you to Ofer for always trusting me with their products to showcase. I absolutely love them. I love these septum pieces so much. Helix ones, you know, it gets me out of my comfort zone because I don't change up my ear piercings too often. And when Ofer sends me something, I'm like, you know what? I want to change it up now. So if you are interested in trying any of these out for yourself, I will have the link to Ofer in the description below. And there is also a code that if you would like a little bit off your purchase, you can use that as well. But let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite and if there are any you're thinking about picking up yourself. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye y'all! Mm -hmm.